Nadine Laporte and Tiffany Lin of the Woods Hole Research Center work in Central Africa monitoring protected lands in the region. Traveling in Central Africa is never easy, and it can take days to get to a field site. But when you get there, the conditions can be difficult. During their last trip to northern Congo, billions of small bees became daily companions, making it difficult to collect data on the impact of logging. Forests are sources for a large number of products, including megafrinum leaves. Pygmies use these leaves for cooking and for roofing material. Most non-timber forest products are used locally. Timber, on the other hand, is mainly for export and is one of the largest sources of income for local workers and the Congolese government. Selective logging is the most extensive land use in Central Africa. While only 10% of the forest is protected, at least a third is under logging contracts. Reduced impact logging is a technique that includes the perfect felling of trees. Here, a field manager of the largest logging company in northern Congo applauds the skill of the young chainsaw operator. Um, One of the major threats to these forests is poaching. Logging roads open up large tracts of remote forest to hunters, and poaching is an ongoing problem in logging concessions. Humans will continue to live here, though, and with care and planning, Forests and humanity will continue to sustain one another into the future.